The history of the Linux kernel is a remarkable example of how a hobby project can evolve into a foundational piece of technology for the entire world. The story begins with Linus Torvalds, a computer science student at the University of Helsinki. Frustrated by the limitations of Minix, a small educational Unix-like system, he decided to write his own kernel from scratch. On August 25, 1991, he posted a now-famous message to a Usenet newsgroup, casually announcing his project as just a hobby, won't be big and professional like GNU. A pivotal moment came when Torvalds chose to release the Linux kernel under the GNU General Public License, GPL. This decision made it truly open source and more importantly, allowed the kernel to be paired with the tools and utilities of the GNU project, which had been developing a complete free operating system, but was missing a working kernel. The synergy between the Linux kernel and GNU software created what we now know as the GNU Linux operating system. The open source model fueled rapid development. Programmers from around the world contributed code, bug fixes and new features. 1994. The first stable version, Linux 1.0, was released, signaling its readiness for broader use. 1996. Linux 2.0 was a major leap. Adding support for multiprocessor systems and the iconic Penguin mascot, Tux, was adopted. Late 1990s. Companies like IBM, Dell, and Oracle began to support Linux for their servers, solidifying its position in the enterprise market and challenging proprietary operating systems. Today, the Linux kernel is a cornerstone of modern technology. It powers everything from the world's fastest supercomputers and the majority of web servers to a vast array of embedded devices, smart TVs, and the Android operating system on billions of smartphones. Development continues at a fast pace, with thousands of developers from companies and the community contributing to its evolution under the ongoing guidance of Linus Torvalds. Like, share and subscribe to Soft Tech Explorer.